Yeah, it's for this year. We had a live show on the Najin Sunni channel, alhamdulillah. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And now let's refute these enemies of humanity. Hello and salam, people. In one of my recent uh, uploads, uh, I uploaded a video called uh, uh, Amalek and the Zionists. Now, of course, that video is about uh, this uh, uh, story tale of the Amaleks or Amalekites in the Hebrew Bible, in which it is said that God said in Samuel, and now go attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them and put to death men and women, children, infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. Now, this is obviously, this is a call to genocide. Imagine something similar of that nature was in the Quran or in the um, hadith of the Prophet Of course, there's not even anything similar to that. Nowhere in the Quran or the Sunnah do you have where Allah and his messenger say, go kill everybody indiscriminately, children, everybody, just go out and kill them. But you have it in the Jewish Bible, yeah. And then, of course, in that video, I showed how, you know, the rabbis and the mouthpieces of the Israeli regime and uh, the big imam of them, uh, Netanyahu Benny, the Polish dude himself, uh, invoked that uh, violent uh, passage of the Bible. And then, um, of course, here, the, you know, oh, they really, they, 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 the spokesman, the apologist, he was like, no, no, the Israeli people understood. It's only meant Hamas, yeah? Hamas, Hamas, yeah? Well, but then you see, we can, all of you. Oh, by one, uh, hmm? Yeah, and then of course, you know, they were exposed. The world has seen how they have exposed themselves. Uh, and when, uh, you know, when the soldiers chanted and invoked uh, these uh, um, verses about all the story tale of the Amal uh, Amalekites in order to go and commit genocide against the Palestinian people in Gaza. And then, of course, we have uh, these uh, friends of Israel, Zanzindi Azadi, you know, the beggar prince, I call this dude here. Uh, and, of course, all of them have given a, a pledge of allegiance to these um, vicious and rabid Zionists. Anyways, this part is important because we want to do a, compar a comparison, right? Um, prophetic words versus rabbinic words with regards to non-combatants in war so as a reminder first let's listen to these people yeah, these uh, rabbis we must obliterate hamas you see and what israel has to do which i'm hoping of course they will is they are going to what's called raise gaza they're going to destroy it race you see they always they do mention here the hamas but these they are so foolish their intentions are always exposed even those who somewhat try to hide their genocidal you know fetish and uh, and um ambitions but they can't but expose themselves race all of Gaza. of course how many how many percent of Gaza? how many uh, how many of these hamas fighters are in Gaza? But they want to raise all of it. They want to raise, obviously, they want to commit genocide. What is important to understand what the logic of the war is based on the divine plan. There is no permission from the Torah to have any mercy whatsoever. See, not any mercy whatsoever. They're invoking their scripture. During war, not on children, not on women. No, no mercy on children, neither on women. Not on anybody. Anybody, even cattle. See, it was in the Jewish Bible that had bought this and that. I'm a juicy flag as well, if I could preach. But the point is right here that Hashem say, do not have mercy on the children. Mm -hmm. The point is really say, Hashem, don't have mercy. Mm. Kill all their children also. Why? There's no difference between them and their children. Inten These people are mentally sick. They escape some mental asylum, you see. Because why? Look at his dalil, look at his evidence for why one should kill children. Years from now, these children will attack you on the way. 
Hashem knows. God knows. <laughs> you, can, you see, you can kill anybody and commit genocide against any people. You just say, yeah, no, but we're going to kill also your babies and the women folk because we, we believe that might harm us in the future. Yeah, we're not playing by your rules. We're playing by the rules of the Torah. The verse in the whole Bible that says, happy is the one that takes the, the infants of Babel and of Edom and smashes them on the rock. People are psychos, I tell you. Just like they did to us. The last one, and this is what we say before benching, right? That's the end of this. That the ultimate revenge, the revenge again, are going innocent infants. Happy is the one that takes the infants and smashes them and kills them on the rock. And then we, then we bless Hashem for the food that, that we ate. You kill all men and all women. All men and all women. Me olel ve'ad yonek. Even babies who breastfeed. Imagine someone listening to this guy with his voice for a'udhu billahi. Amazing. Alu v'aslichu. Tekaschu otam kama sheyoter. This is this is the Ayatollah. This is the Grand Marja. This is the high, one of the highest authorities, old school OG fighter who they look up uh, up to, who mo motivates them. See, mothers, children. There's not one or two or three. Hmm? Many many decent Western people, non-Muslims, have woken up. In countries where there is not even many Muslims, or not as much as like in Western Europe, like Greece and whatnot, people, though in those demonstrations, most people are not even Muslims, but they have woken up and understood what vicious people these people are. There is an extraordinary. Okay, the rest you can obviously check on my channel. So um, now we want to do the comparison. You heard what these rabbis and what their scripture says. Now let's see what the Islamic scripture says. Islamic religious text. They have demonized Islam so much. They have demonized the Prophet of Islam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and nobody really can critique their religion in it. Ah, I don't understand. And if you do, I don't even know how long this video will stay up. But let's see. Yeah. All right. So this is some bath online, some research about um, the is uh, the Islamic stance of uh, uh, targeting non-combatants, particularly obviously uh, women and children. It says, "أولاً الأصل في النساء والأطفال أنهم ليسوا من أهل الحرب والقتال." The basis, the أصل. The foundation in Islam is that women and children are not from the people of war and qital uh, fighting. So it's not permissible to kill them. And it's not even permissible to transgress against them, let alone killing them. And then he mentions a verse. وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا And fight against those. وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ and, and fight on the path of Allah. On the سَبِيلِ of Allah, path of Allah. الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا Those who fight you, fight them. وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا And do not transgress. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 190. Then he brings from the tafsir, from one of the most renowned tafsir by Imam, Jabari, uh, Imam uh, Ibn Jarir at tabari who is uh, from northern Iran originally, Persia, which is today called the region Mazandaran. Rahimahullah. Imam Ibn Jarir at tabari Rahimahullah, fi tafsir, in his tafsir says, وَإِنَّمَا الْإِعْتِدَاءُ الَّذِي إِنَّمَا الْإِعْتِدَاءُ الَّذِي نَهَاهُمُ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ هو نهيه عن قتل النساء والذراري والذراري هم الأبناء he says وإنما and verily surely the اعتداء the transgression that Allah has prohibited هو نهيه عن قتل النساء it's the prohibition of killing the women and الذراري and هو الذراري هم الأبناء the children of the 
the children. When Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma and on the authority of uh, the Ibn Umar, the son of Umar ibn al-Khattab, قال وجدت امرأة مقتولة في بعد مغازي ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فنهى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن قتل النساء والصبيان It says that um, uh, the people encountered a slain, a dead woman uh, after warfare and when the Prophet saw this he prohibited the killing of women and children. Naha, for Naha, he prohibited. He rebuked and prohibited. He said, "This is haram." أخرج البخاري ومسلم. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. وفي حديث رباح ابن ربيع الربيع عند الإمام أحمد أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لما رأى امرأة مقتولة أنكر ذلك وقال ما كانت هذه لتقاتل. And the Prophet صلى الله عليه صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم saw. لما رأى امرأة مقتولة a slain dead woman, woman amongst those who were dead after warfare uh, أنكر ذلك he objected to that he condemned it فقال ما كانت هذه لتقاتل this one was not amongst those who fought قال ابن عبد البر pay attention قال ابن عبد البر المالكي famous Muslim Sunni scholar رحمه الله في التمهيد in his famous التمهيد he says وأجمع العلماء على القول بجملة هذا الحديث ولا يجوز عندهم قتل نساء الحربيين ولا أطفالهم لأنهم ليسوا ممن يقاتلوا في الأغلب he says وأجمع العلماء there is a consensus amongst the scholars they have agreed upon على القول بجملة هذا الحديث they have agreed on this hadith on the general, general, generally on this hadith that it is not permissible that women from amongst those harbiyin those who are hostile towards the Muslims and fight the Muslims their women folk their women and children it's not allowed it's haram to kill their women, uh, women and children why? لأنهم ليسوا ممن يقاتل في الأغلب because usually they are not amongst those who fight. وقال النووي أن النووي رحمه الله سات في شرحه على صحيح المسلم أن شرح explanation of صحيح مسلم أجمع العلماء على تحريم قتل النساء والصبيان إذا لم يقتلوا أي إذا أي إذا لم يقاتلوا. He says أجمع العلماء the scholars have agreed upon they have an إجماع uh, they have consent consensus. Uh, uh, on the tahreem that it's haram to uh, kill women and children from amongst those who fight from amongst those who want to kill the muslims it's still not allowed to kill their women folk and their children uh, as long as they don't fight themselves and then it says uh, and then he brings the istithna yes and i don't deny it for those all now all guns blazing don't accuse me of being some modernist. No, no, no. There are some hadith. And those hadith, they speak about istithna. So they are not the qaida. There are some cases. There are some narrations about catapults. Or that there was a raid at night. So the scholars explain that this is not with qast. This was not with the intention of killing their women and their children. Because some invoke those narrations, some extremists to say, oh, no, it's, it's permissible in Islam, as well. No, it's not permissible. Because the scholars explain those narrations, those few narrations, that they are what? They are with regards to specific uh, situation, situations that was out of control. And uh, uh, they are not the basic fundamental rule. The basic fundamental rule in Islam is to not kill women and children in warfare. So a Muslim ruler must make sure that this does not happen to the best of his um, capability. And then, um, yeah, this is what I wanted to show as well. Uh, this is a bahth from Al Aluka website. It says, وَفِي شَرْحْ مَعَانِ الْآثَارِ لِلْتَحَوِي بِسَنَدٍ صَحِيحِ And in the sharh of Ma'ani al-Athar by Al-Tahawi, with his uh, authentic sanad, أَنَّ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمْ كَانَ إِذَا بَعْثَ جُيُوشِهِ 
Qala, when the Prophet used to prepare his army, uh, his fighters, he used to say, لا تقتلوا الولدان Don't kill uh, like the children, the young ones. وفي الرواية لا تقتلوا شيخا لا تقتلوا شيخا كبيرا Do not kill any elderly, elderly person. وفي الرواية لا تقتلوا واليدا ولا امرأة Don't kill any child or woman. And then here as well, it states correctly. فهذه هي القاعدة والأصل والأساس. This is the foundation, fundamental principle with regards to what? في التعامل مع نساء المحاربين with regards to the women of those who fight, try to kill the Muslims. المحاربين وذراريهم and their children في القتال in fighting. والذي تقرر بأدلة صحيحة صريحة الصحيحة صريحة and this is emphasized on 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 clear cut evidences obvious evidences وما خرج عن ذلك and whatever is uh, says وما خرج عن ذلك and whatever you find as an exemption for this few cases where it is reported that some Sahaba at the Prophet's time وسلم um, they attacked some people and some of their women folk or children died. It says what? فَهُوَ إِسْتِثْنَى عَنِ الْأَصْلِ This is an istithna. This is an accept, uh, exception from the foundation. So the foundation Islam is a scholar from the days of the Prophet who is the Nabi he prohibited and he emphasized that as much as possible do not make sure not to kill their women folk their women and the children of the non-believers in war and um, of course then uh, I have I think this hadith also here in Arab in English of the English translation you see Arabic is just more beautiful isn't it Ibn Abbas uh, says when the messenger of Allah وسلم, dispatched his armies he would say go forth in the name of Allah and fight in the name of Allah those who deny Allah do not be treacherous do not embezzle the spoils do not mutilate and do not kill children nor the monks in their monasteries this is Musad Ahmad Hassan Ligayri fair due to external evidences so it's authentic according to Sheikh Arnaud and then the hadith that I think I read earlier from the son of Umar uh, Abdullah bin Umar anhuma a woman was found killed in one of the battles of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam. So the Prophet condemned the killing of women and children. This is in Sahih Bukhari. طيب. And then um, finally we're going to go to the Tafsir. One of the uh, most renowned Tafsirs of the Muslims, of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Tafsir of Ibn Kathir, one of the students of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, uh, with regards to this verse, of course, this is verse what? Um... 190 of Surah Baqarah. وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُعْتَدِينَ uh, Surah Baqarah verse 190, right? So here's this, uh, you see, it's uh, this verse 190. Uh, وَقَاتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ الَّذِينَ يُقَاتِلُونَكُمْ إِلَى أَخْرِي And then this part, uh, when it comes to وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُعْتَدِينَ he says, he says, and the words, the speech of Allah, وَلَا تَعْتَدُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُعْتَدِينَ And do not transgress in war, right? In jihad, in war, in battle. Because why? إِنَّ اللَّهَ ذَلِي Surely Allah does not, لا يحب, does not love the المعتدين, those who transgress. أي, and then Ibn Kathir says, أي, that means, قاتلوا في سبيل الله ولا تعتدوا في ذلك ويدخل في ذلك ارتكاب المناهي in this what is included all those things that are prohibited and then he says كما قاله الحسن بن البصري just like حسن بن البصري said things that are prohibited with regards to what من المثلة والغلول this is like المثلة um, uh, is like um, what you call it, uh, mutilating. Well, stealing from the spo spoils of war. Uh, and the killing of the women. And the young children. You see children. And the elderly. In Arabic, classical Arabic, Sheikh, is for elderly person. Uh, specific elderly man, right? 
الذين لا رأى لهم ولا قتال فيهم those among them who do not fight of course if they fight they get the same حكم but if they don't fight no والرحبان وأصحاب الصوامع and the monks do not attack them as well and the أصحاب الصوامع those in the monasteries and so on and so forth and now check this in one of the most authentic renowned tafsir books of the Quran of the Muslims it is added, the verse is already clear, yeah, and then but here is added وَتَحْرِيقُ الْأَشْجَارِ وَقَتْلِ الْحَيَوَانِ This is الحيوان. It says, and the burning of the ashjar, and do not burn trees وَقَتْلِ الْحَيَوَانِ لِغَيْرِ الْمَصْلَحَةِ If there is no benefit in it, then don't even burn any trees, nor kill any animals. This is the mercy that is in Islam, that these Zionists, Zionists don't understand. كما قال ذلك ابن عباس وعمر ابن عبد العزيز he said just like he brings evidence he says this is narrated by whom by ابن عباس عبد الله بن عباس رضي الله عنهما وعمر ابن العزي وعمر ابن عبد العزيز ومقاتل ابن حيان وغيرهم and other than them ولهذا جاء في صحيح مسلم عن بريدة أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان يقول and he said and that is why it is reported in Sahih Muslim one of the most authentic hadith books of the Muslims that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said أخذوا في سبيل الله قاتلوا من كفر بالله أخذوا ولا تغلوا ولا تغدروا ولا تمثلوا ولا تقتلوا وليدا ولا أصحاب الصوامع رواه الإمام أحمد that one he says is narrated by Imam Ahmed and then he says, um, what else? وعن ابن عباس قال كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا بعث جيوشه قال That one I think I read earlier that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم whenever he prepared his army he used to say to them أخرجوا بسم الله قاتلوا في سبيل الله Go out in the name of Allah قاتلوا في سبيل الله من كفر Those who disbelieve those enemies fight them on the way of Allah لا تغدروا ولا تغلوا ولا I read it already. So when the Prophet advised them, don't kill children, don't don't kill women, and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, so this is from uh, Ibn Kathir. Uh, is there anything else I forgot? No, I think that's it. Uh, this was the ayah. There was some these are hadith uh, with the English translations, and um, we read this. Yeah, خلاص. That's it, really. And um, this is Islam. This is Islam compared to the extremism of these vicious Zionists. Now, and that's it. And peace.